Hey guys, welcome to the channel and another video. Today I'm going to be watching Police Academy by Hugh Wilson starring Steve Guttenberg and Kim Cattrall. I don't believe I've heard of this director before but I definitely have heard of Police Academy. I know this film as a cult comedy. Um, I've heard that it's got a somewhat of a slapstick style of humor. Uh, I've done slapstick comedies on the channel before like Airplane and the Two Naked Gun films. I think I also did a uh, National Lampoon movie. Uh, do check them out when you have the time. I don't know anyone starring in this film except Kim Cattrall who I've seen in Big Trouble in Little China also on the channel. Um, I know she starred in Sex in the City, but that's a show I haven't watched yet. Regardless, I don't know what to expect from this film except for it being set in a police academy. But before we get into it, to help support the channel, I have a Patreon page for full-length reviews and reactions to this film and over 130 movies, TV shows, early access, and weekly polls for what to watch next. You'll need your own copy to watch along. The link's in the description below, by the way. Please consider being a patron, please subscribe to the channel, uh, click that bell icon for instant notifications, do check out my other videos, like if you like this video, dislike it if you didn't, with all that being said, let's get started. Police Academy, Wilson, Guttenberg, Cattrall, let's go! <laughs> that is a bad idea <laughs> naturally the police completely freaked okay that's 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 a horrible idea police academy so anybody can just sign up to <laughs> become a police officer regardless of their background what if they're like criminals Oh, what a cop out. Hello. That's a security yeah, yeah. guard. Oh, now? Affirmative, sir. <laughs> I don't think that's the right code, or is it? 10 <laughs> 4. Yeah, the premise of the film already sounds very outlandish. <laughs> And somebody's escaping in the back. Or at least that's what it looks like. <laughs> Dude, check who's on the other side of the door before... <laughs> you guys. <laughs> it was a surprise party for him. You've got a space. Lots of holes through. Find a spot, dickhead. Dickhead? That's right. Where's the manager? Dickhead? What the hell's going on here? Hi, Lou. Lou? This rude little punk won't park my car. Morning. Park this car! I need mean, my oh, shit! Jesus! Oh, oh, oh. It fits! Damn thing fits! <laughs> it's a trans -am. I thought there were no more spaces. <laughs> I need it or what? <laughs> Guys, I don't think I'm supposed to get the photos wet. <laughs> no way! I think they're, the director is introducing the potential applicants for the police department. Hey, Sarge. It's him again. I'll call Captain Reed. Sit over there, Mahoney. Oh, this Mahoney has been in trouble before. What are you in for? I'll show you. <laughs> God damn it, it's <laughs> oh, oh, No, sir. No, thank you. He's a human beatbox. <laughs> What's your name? Jones. Larville Jones. <laughs> and the police academy is such a dangerous place. Honey, oh. don't worry. <laughs> I'll be 
Nope, he's determined. Mahoney. Where are we love now? Out. Ecuador. <laughs> what a random answer. When I went through this academy, every cadet was the right weight, the right height, the right color, and they all had Johnson's Lassard. Oh, racist, sexist. I'm sure a lot of spades around here. That's a big dude. Which I think is good. What's your name, cadet? Thompson, sir. You live around here? No, sir. What's your telephone number, Thompson? Eyes front telephone number. <laughs> My name is Commandant Lassard. Welcome to the new police force. Your training time here will last 14 weeks. Some of you will be here at the academy. Here at the academy. <laughs> I don't think that's a princess. I think. Princess. Princess. Princess looks more like a princess to me. Exactly. <laughs> what about guns? When do we get guns? Next. <laughs> I'm a size nine. Sometimes I'm a size nine. Next. Next. Oh, excuse me. Do you know where we go to get our clothes? Yeah. You gotta go right. Oh, man. He's just... Right in and tell him that Mahoney <laughs> sent you. Got it. Douglas Mackler, I always wanted to be a cop. <laughs> hey, Thompson. Well, how do I look? That wasn't very funny this morning. I wasn't trying to be funny. I'd give anything to see your thighs. I don't suppose you'd describe them for me. Well, they're tan, of course. Very supple, well-rounded, and luxuriant to the touch. <laughs> That's descriptive. Chosen cadets Blanks and Doplin. Step out, men. <laughs> Blanks and Doplin. Very uh, appropriate names. If these names. two cadets give <laughs> you think. an order. Oh. Holy shit. Really. Get up, get up, move it, move it, move it. I can show a movie on your butt, back so. <laughs> Larvel, is he beatboxing while he's sleeping? As in making sound effects? Oh no. This is definitely not for me. At least some of them are pretty competent getting getting through the obstacle course. <clears throat> I don't think they named the city they're in. It's just called Metropolitan Police. And for some reason, the commandant is on a golf cart. So far, nobody's quit. But they will.
Yeah. <laughs> Mahoney's spying on them. <laughs> Read death. Oh, the thighs. <laughs> the Police Academy. I'm so sorry, oh. sir. Uh, but your friend, Identify. Yeah, he clearly likes her. And she's. Oh, oh, yeah. She's not uninterested either. Hi, Captain Reed? Mahoney! I've already told you once nobody screws with me. Well, maybe you'll meet the right girl. That'll change. <laughs> Get out of here now! Dude. <laughs> That's a fireable offense. You hit me. Give me your best shot. Hit you? Yeah, come on. <laughs> no, really, I, I suppose so. Hit me! Uh, really, when I, when I go... Do it now! Come on! I, I, I can't because when I... Give me your... <laughs> How was that? Is that okay? Not in the face, you idiot. Yeah. But... Yeah. Apparently he likes it. Find out where the party is. How? Ask Mahoney. 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 Yeah, although very entertaining so far, it's making me laugh. This the story doesn't have a coherent narrative. Could I speak it's more to you like a saying? bunch of sketches yes. one after another. What's up? Uh, Mahoney. Uh, is there a party this weekend? Yeah, there is. Of course, there is. Do you want to come? No, no, I can't. Uh, I just need to know where it is. They're already making out. Yeah. Why do you want to be a cop? I like to dress like a man. <laughs> is she an escort? Well, my goodness. Oh, and the room inspection is coming up. Would, would you, would you please just come? He's in here. In here? Yeah. You want to do it in a podium? All my life. Right. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Well, I'm not really the customer. The real customer will be here any second now, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> she thinks he's the customer. In the presentation, interesting as well as very very stimulating. <laughs> Could we have the lights turned down? Now this first slide <laughs> shows a very, very interesting thing. Our main building. <laughs> I love his facial expressions here. <laughs> We have the lights, please. <laughs> He's done. <laughs> Doesn't he want to find out what just happened? What's underneath the podium? <laughs> Good speech. It's not like you can ever talk about it ever again. <laughs> officer, officer, can you get my kitty cat out of the tree? Oh, no, no, wait! <laughs> This is official police business. Let's move it. Move it out of there. Let's go. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. He's going to destroy the bike. <laughs> oh. You told no one. 
Not a soul. So now he has a secret that he could use against him. But I don't think it's that kind of movie anyway. <laughs> and looks like everybody <laughs> already knows. <laughs> <gasps> oh, yeah. No. Now, Mahoney, I'm gonna rub this right in your face. On your mark, get sick. Oh, it was Barbara. Good for him. Thanks. Oh. oh. <laughs> he had inadvertently caused the fight. <laughs> Which seems to have a domino effect <laughs> causing chaos. <laughs> you two hear the news on the radio? No. A riot's broken out downtown. How come? Who knows how these things get started? Attention! All cadets report immediately to the dormitory parking lot in full riot gear. So this is their final chance to prove their worth. Okay, they're officially surrounded, I think. Or are they? Almost. Hello, men. I thought I'd come by for a personal inspection. Okay, if we get in, sir. Oh, I guess so. Sure, why not? Well, men, huh? Attention! Attention, everybody! <laughs> This is Commandant Eric Lassard of the Police Academy. If you do not disperse immediately, my men and I will have to arrest you. You have five seconds to move away. Five, four, three, go! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Larville coming in clutch. Hold it right there, guys. Boy, it isn't Leslie Barbara the police officer. Yeah. Come on, Les, you're not gonna shoot us. Barbara is using, using his training. So he did learn something. Don't move, you bastard. He actually saved. So like you put your gun the down. The <laughs> Lieutenant Harris, any last-minute tips or suggestions? Hey, what do you want? High towers here. I want to watch you off these pigs. I believe I'd shoot this one. Yeah, the old one. <laughs> George Martin. You men, stop that! <laughs> no Academy Cadet has ever received the highest award this police department has to make. Today, there are two. Officers Moses Hightower and Carrie Mahoney. Gentlemen, please step forward. <laughs> Officer Mahoney. Thank you, Commodore.
Did he just break the fourth wall for a second? <laughs> okay, I took some time to collect my thoughts. First off, that was a fun film. Uh, fairly entertaining, as you could probably tell. I enjoyed the film for what it was. A bunch of funny sketches put together. This is going to be a fairly short review, I think, since there isn't too much to discuss. The strengths of the film included its sketches, some of the performances, and the music, whereas the main weakness was the lack of a coherent narrative, which we're going to talk about soon. The cinematography, editing, and the production values were pretty weak, but I can't really fault the movie for this, since I think that's the tone what the filmmakers were going for. Anyways, let's start with the directing by Hugh Wilson and the story by Neil Israel and Pat Proft. The main story of this film was exceedingly simple. Uh, due to a shortage of police officers, the mayor instruct, uh, instructs the police academy to accept all recruits regardless of their background, which is a horrible and a hilarious idea, a fun premise. A, b a bunch of misfits apply and the movie is about their shenanigans and ultimately their journey to becoming actual cops. The main characters Mahoney, Hightower and probably Thompson uh, were very stock characters but they, but they were serviceably written I'd say. Uh, there was a romantic subplot involving Mahoney and Thompson but I don't think that that was very well explored. Um, especially when they started making out, it did surprise me. Hightower, on the other hand, was fairly entertaining with his huge presence and how he saved the day at the end. Um, that, that was surprising too. Uh, the main, the, the person that made me laugh the most had to be Larvel and his sound effects. That dude was crazy talented and I really hope he was making most of the sounds for real. Two of the characters, Barbara and Hooks, I think, um, they had real story arcs, which did surprise me. Both these characters overcame challenges. Um, Barbara, be because he was overweight, and um, Hooks, because she was, she had a very soft voice and didn't find authority till the end. They overcame these challenges to become real policemen. And that's something I appreciated uh, in the writing process. The people in charge, like Harris, or the commandant, or the actual chief, were shown to be either racist, sexist, or a mixture of both. I found it interesting because it barely had a narrative purpose to the story. They seemed to be bad for the sake of being bad, if that makes any sense. Uh, the main issue I had with the film was its scene transitions. Uh, don't get me wrong, the individual sketches were hilarious, and that's why I was laughing a lot. But I really felt like a lot of the scenes were unfinished. Um, and I wasn't the huge, biggest fan of the director just moving on to the next scene without resolving what we saw earlier or even bringing it up later. Like the police chase uh, Mahoney and Hightower were involved in when Mahoney was teaching Hightower how to drive. Uh, what happened after that? The police were on your tail. That's, uh, there was a huge destruction of private property. We don't know. And, and the director just cuts to Hightower acing the driving test. It just seems very narratively disjointed and a bunch of funny sketches just put together one after the other. Movies like this with a, with a ton of jokes um, are sometimes a hit and miss. And I think the first Naked Gun or even Airplane did it much better. Maybe that's because of Leslie Nielsen's charismatic and excellent performances, but I might be wrong. I don't know why exactly this film is considered a cult comedy, but I think it might have, I might have an idea. I think that over the years, a lot of these characters, just regular people in most cases, um, they've resonated with the viewing audience. I can imagine a lot of people putting themselves in, 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 in the same situations as these characters were in. Also, I think a lot of these characters were very memorable, even though they were a little one-dimensional. By that, I mean everybody had a gimmick that reflected their personality, even down to their names, like Hightower or uh, Barbara. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you know what I mean. The music in this film was very good, though. I heard a lot of classics from the 80s, and that felt quite nostalgic because uh, I got introduced to 80s music through my dad, and I grew up in the early 90s and stuff, so 
I still have a lot of influence from the 80s. Um, the sound design itself was as over the top as the action or the sketches, and the film was probably better off for it. I'm actually happy that the movie was not trying to be something it's clearly not. Um, and like I said before, this is going to be a short review as I, and as I have mentioned my criticisms already. Overall, Police Academy was a fairly entertaining film. I did laugh quite a bit, but uh, quite a bit since the individual sketches were very funny. But overall, the film had serious narrative and continuity issues. Uh, the scenes, the scene transitions in particular, uh, most of the characters didn't have an arc. The performances were pretty good and the music was really good. I don't know how, I don't know whether it aged as well as The Naked Gun or Airplane. However, I did have a pretty good time with this one. I'd recommend this film for a late night when, <laughs> when you're intoxicated and just want to laugh at something that's not too complicated. Anyways, thank you for watching. I have a Patreon page. Consider being a Patreon. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, do check out my other videos. Uh, click that bell icon for instant notifications. Like if you like this video. Dislike it if you didn't. I will see you in the next one. Bye.